In Runes the Forgotten Path, you play a sorcerer that's forgotten everything about themselves, so you're on a journey of self-discovery to find your way again. This is an interesting mix of different game types. On the one hand, you have lots of character dialogue and story. Why would you still be here if he saved you, when he admits he put you here in the first place? He destroyed your life! It's only fair to do the same! There's a little bit of magic combat, some puzzle questing, which I'll get back to in a minute, and a small room that you keep returning to throughout the game, which feels like an escape room. This particular part was my favorite. There's a handful of different puzzles to solve in this room, which, like I've said, feels like an escape room. To solve those puzzles, you'll have to use spells that you learn. You learn spells constantly throughout the game. This game has an overall dark tone, but the puzzle quest I mentioned earlier is especially creepy. In here, you need to collect five mask pieces, but there's a spooky, shadowy figure that's chasing you and moves very fast. When you look at them, they don't move, but as soon as you look away, they move very fast toward you. You can keep them at bay with spells you learn, but it's quite unsettling all the same. This part really creeped me out. There is a little bit of magic combat, but it's barely sprinkled in until the end of the game. It all finishes with a huge defense battle that's like a wave shooter. I enjoyed playing this, but mostly for the escape room section with the magic-based puzzles. Personally, I would have liked more of that. The game lasts about 2-3 to three hours, so for $25 it's a little pricey, but it's definitely a unique and very dark narrative magic game. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!